so we're going to begin by creating a cylinder. So I'm going to go to my polygons tab right here and I'm going to click on the cylinder button right here. Alright, so let's go into our channel box and I'm going to click on poly cylinder 1 and I'm going to change the subdivision axis to 8 and I'll press enter. I'm going to press 5 on the keyboard to go to shaded mode and I'll press R to scale this up along the Y axis. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. Alright, so up here at the top of the cylinder, I'm going to get rid of some of the uh, edges here. So I'm going to right click and go to edge. And basically, what I'm looking at is I want to get rid of four edges. So I'll select one, two, three, four edges here. And if I hit W, <clears throat> Basically, I want to select these four edges that are not in line with the Cartesian coordinate system. So I don't want the edges going along the Z or the X axis. Okay, so I'm going to select these four, press delete, tumble to the, tumble to the other side here. I'll select these four right here and press delete. Okay, so now what we have are um, we have four sided polygons on the bottom here rather than triangles. Alright, so next, let's see, we're going to add an edge loop. So I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, I'm going to click and drag a line right about here, add an edge loop there, and I'm going to add an edge loop maybe about, you know, two-thirds of the way down, maybe a little bit higher than that. Okay. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to hit Q, right click, go to vertex, select all the vertices here, tap the space bar, and go to my, um, I guess we'll go to the side panel here. I'm going to press 5 to go to shaded mode. I'm going to press E for my rotate tool. I'm going to rotate this at an angle. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit R, select all those vertices, and just scale them up just a tiny bit. I'll go to Edit Mesh, and then I'll go to Insert Edge Loop Tool, and I'm going to add an additional edge loop down here. Okay. So I'm going to hit Q for my selection tool. I'm going to right click, go to Face. I'm going to select these four faces here, hit Extrude go over here and I'm going to use the blue arrow to move my extrusion out. I'm going to select these faces here at the top, press extrude and use the blue arrow to go out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to select four faces and I'm going to press W so you can see the axis here. Uh, they should be going um, along the Z axis right here, going this way. So two on this side and two on the other side. Okay. So if we look at this in our top panel, you can see two right here and two right here in your top panel. Okay, You should be able to see the orange lines lighting up. Okay, So we're going to extrude these faces out. So as soon as I hit the extrude button I'm going to hit W and then I'm going to move them straight out along the z-axis. Okay, And that is not going to work so I'm going to press Z to undo and I'll press R and we'll scale them out along the z-axis here. All right, I'll use the scale tool along the Y axis to kind of scale it down a little bit. And now I'm going to, actually, let me see, I need to reselect these. Scale in along X. And now I'm going to come in and scale these individually. So I've just got one side selected here, and I'll scale that in. I'll go to the other side. And scale that in. Okay. All right. 
right, so um, if you look at your axe handle right here in the side view, you want the two faces on the left side selected, okay? I'm going to hit extrude, push these out. And then I'll hit extrude again. And I'll hit extrude one more time. And I'm going to scale this in. Actually, I'm going to hit W and bring this back. All right, now I'm going to select these two faces here at the top and the two faces down below here. And I'll hit extrude. And I'll use the blue arrow to move these out. Use the green box to scale in. Use the blue arrow to bring it back. All right, I'm going to select all of this stuff right here. And it's a little bit too wide, so I'm going to hit R and scale it all in. Like so. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit Q, select these two faces here. Press R, we'll scale this in as well. And I'm going to hit extrude and go straight out. Then I'll hit uh, extrude again. I'll go out. And one more time. Oh, it looks like something got crossed over here. So let me undo. Hmm. I'm going to hit W and move this out. Notice the difference. Here we've got clean geometry right here. So that's what we need. We do not want, if I hit extrude again, let's see here. This extrusion comes out. I hit extrude again. Oh. OK, so we just have to be careful. Like If this crosses over like that, you don't ever want to do something like this. So I'm going to press Z to undo. I'll pull this out. We don't want these faces to cross over. All right, well, so from here, I can select these top two faces up here, press extrude, and go up. And press R, scale this stuff in. And I'll move this back a little bit. All right, so down here, I'll select four faces. And I'm going to extrude this down. And let's see, I'll go down again, press R, scale in, and I'll extrude down one more time, and I'll scale in again. All right, so I'm going to go to my side panel, and I'll start to shape this. So let's see, we want to have a curve. going this way Let's see, we need to bring this stuff in a little bit. So this whole line right here, I'm going to press E for my rotate tool, rotate this, and move this over. Okay, so now I can individually adjust this stuff. Uh, I'll also rotate here. This needs to be at a steeper angle, so I'll continue to rotate that. And then I'll pull this vertex up.
Okay, so I'm going to extend this handle down. Make that a little bit longer. Bring this part up. I'll bring the blade up a little bit here. Extend this part of the handle down. And the whole handle down a little bit more here. Okay. All right, I'm going to tap the space bar. And let's go ahead and add in some edge loops around here. So I've got Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. And basically what I want to do is I want to add additional edge loops here and here to maintain the definition. This is the grip of the handle. And I'll, oops, let's see. I need to redo that. Add an edge loop right there. Okay. Up here, let's see, what can we do? I'll leave that alone. But I can add an edge loop in right here. And then I'm going to hit Q and let's see, I'm going to go to side panel here. Go to vertex. I'm going to push these vertices up and then I'll hit F here so I can frame this. And I need to select three on either side here. And I got too many so I'm going to hold down hold down control and unselect these vertices up here all this stuff back here. So I just want these three vertices here and the three over here and we want to pull that down. And I'll pull this up a little bit more. All right, so let's now go to Let me see here. I'm going to add an edge loop right here. No. I'll leave that alone. All right. I'm going to hit Q, right click, go to face, and I'm going to select these two faces. I'll press extrude. Click on the red box right here. Let go. And then I'll click and drag on the light blue box here. And then I'm going to press delete and delete those faces. And I'll go to edit mesh and then go to append to polygon tool. And then I'm going to append this. So I'll press G to finish my append and that will bring up my append tool again. So I'll press G. Okay. Alright, let's go to Edit Mesh and then Insert Edge Loop Tool and let's insert an edge loop on this side and on this side. So I hit Q, let's go. Let's go over here to the side panel. I'll go to vertex, select the vertices here, press R, scale those in. I'll take these vertices here and scale them out. So we want the diamond shaped here to match the diamond shape right here. Okay. Uh, let's go to add in, let's go to edit mesh and then insert edge loop tool and let's insert another edge loop right up here. Okay. 
All right, so let's hit Q, and um, so we've got our blade set up here. Uh, okay, one more thing before we export. I'm going to go to face, select these faces here. Press R, and we're going to scale this stuff in. Okay. All right. So we're going to right click, go to object mode, and now we have our object selected. Now, we're going to send this over to Mudbox. Um, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go to File, uh, Save Scene As, and I'll call this uh, Skyrim Axe. All right, now, um, I need to scale this up because the uh, dimensions in Mudbox are different from the dimensions in Maya by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, uh, Modify Freeze Transformations and then I'm going to scale this up to about 100. I'll hit A. Okay. You can barely see it. Let's go to maybe 80. Okay. All right, so we've just scaled it up, and now we need to freeze the transformation again. Okay, so I'm going to go to Modify and then Freeze Transformations. Okay, and now I'll go to File, and I'll go over to Send to Mudbox, and I'll go Send as a New Scene. I'll click on the uh, button right here that says keep this mesh and here we have our axe okay so this is a good stopping place in the second video in this series we'll start to sculpt the axe in mudbox